This is Eric Manley from Drake University. In this video, I'm going to build on the, the apps we've created in the previous two videos. So we've already seen an app which when you pushed a button it played a sound or pushed a button and it spoke some text that you had typed onto the screen. This app is kind of the opposite. Instead of having it speak some text, we're going to have, we're, we're going to have the user speak and see if it can recognize the text. So I'll show you how it works. Okay, so this is my computer screen. I'm going to hit the transcribe button. I'm learning how to make really cool apps. Nope, didn't quite get it. Let's try again. I'm learning how to make really cool apps. There we go. Most of the times it works. So I'm learning how to make really cool apps. It figured out that that's what we said, and it displayed it right on the screen. So you could use this to, you know, make a dictation app where you needed to be able to speak to it and have it make text so you don't have to sit at your keyboard and type out a bunch of stuff. You can just talk right into your phone. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm going to get out of my app here. Okay. All right, let's create a new project. Start a new project. Um, call this one Transcribe This. Okay, just like always, we're going to need a button. So you remember our button, the text we had on it, it said it's transcribed. So let's go over to the text property, have it say transcribe. There we go. Um, all right, now in the previous app that we made, we used the text box, right? You remember that. The text box, this was an area that the user could use to type some text. That's not what we want. We don't want the user to type in text. So we actually need a different component. So delete that one. You don't want that. The one we're going to use is something called a label. Now a label is just text that shows up on the screen. It's not something that the user can type in. It's just something that you, the programmer, get to control. Okay, so right now it just says text for label one. You can have it say anything you want. Sometimes you just have it say something and it never changes throughout the entire app. Um, let's see, I'll grab the label, okay. Uh, so for to begin with, I'm just going to have it say no text yet, right? So there's no text that has, it has detected yet. Okay, so there we go. So we've got a label, which just displays some information to the user. We've got our button, and we need one more media component. We've used text-to-speech, we've used sound. Let's try speech recognizer. This is a component um, that... Uh, that we can use to, it, it's the thing that causes that dialogue to show up where you can speak into it and it recognizes your speech. Okay, so let's look over in our blocks. So just like always, we need to do something when the button is clicked. So let's grab that when button or that when block for whenever the button is clicked. Okay, now when we click the button, we want it to do some kind of speech recognition thing, right? So just like before, we'll look and see, well, what kind of things can we do with it? Well, if you look here, it's not quite as much as in the, some of the other things we've seen. There's, there's not as many things to look through. And really, the only block that looks like it might fit is this call get text. Yeah, that sounds about right. I want to do something. I want it to get some text from the speech recognizer. But so far, like, I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to work. So let's just test it out. So if you haven't done it already, just hook it up to your AI companion. I'm going to scan the QR code here. Okay. I am going to get connected. There we go. Scan the QR code. So let's see what happens. Hmm. The speak now box has come up, but does it do anything yet? Trying again. Is it going to do anything? There we go. It seems to recognize something, but nothing showed up on the label, right? Nothing showed up on the screen. Well, how do we actually get the label, right? How do we get this label to show whatever thing it got from the speech recognizer? So we've got to get a little bit more complicated this time. 
If you look under speech recognizer, you'll notice that there are some other kinds of when blocks. So notice that there's one that says when the speech recognizer after getting the text do something or before getting the text do something. Ah, maybe that's what we need. Okay, so let's try this out. So we've got another block now and, and, and what's going to happen is it calls this get text. Right, so calling the get text is going to call the, you know, the Google, um, the Google component which causes that microphone thing to show up on the screen. All that does is it sh causes it to pop up. But when it's done, it's going to send a message saying, hey, I've got the text. And when that happens, we can say, well, after you've gotten the text, let's do something with it. So, okay, in here, we're going to be able to do something with it. So I, this, this is going to run after getting the text from the speech recognizer. Okay, so when we get the text from the speech recognizer, you'll notice that we've got this extra little block here, result. So the result is something called a parameter. It's like an extra piece of data that goes with some other kind of block. So after getting the text, you get a result, and that's, um, you know, that's some extra data that goes with it. So that's going to be important. So when you kind of hover over that, it gives you sort of two options. You can either get it or set it. We're actually going to get it and do something with it. So this result is going to be the result of whatever the user spoke. And what we want to do is display that on the label. So just like the text box had a text field, the label has a text field as well. And in this case, we're going to use not this one, but this one, the one that says set. So we're going to set the text of the label to something new. And what are we going to set it to? We're going to set it to the result of whatever the speech recognizer got after it got the text. Okay, so let's try and test that out, see how it runs. Here we are. Does the speech recognizer work now? Well, okay, it didn't quite finish listening to me say it, but notice it did get something and it put it on the label. This is my second test. Anyway, you get the idea and you can play with it. Hopefully yours has a little bit better results of actually being able to listen to your full sentence. Um, but test it out, give it a try, and then check back for the next video where we're going to kind of put all of this together in one really cool app.